Let's try another stoichiometry problem here. So this one, we've got some magnesium reacting with water to make magnesium hydroxide and some hydrogen gas. You might recall from our reactions chapter that we said it's sometimes helpful to rewrite water as HOH to help you figure out what the products would be. Because often when substances react with water, they form hydroxide products, not oxide products. So we just have to balance this guy overall because we have two OHs and two Hs on the right, but only one H and one OH on the left. We need a two there. And now it's balanced. So we've got a couple numbers in this problem. It tells us we're going to start with 8.1 grams of magnesium. It also gives us the density of hydrogen gas and wants us to figure out how many liters of hydrogen gas could be produced. And it gives us this little hint that the word per is usually an indication that the number is a conversion factor. When you read this density out loud, you'd say 0 0.073 grams per liter. You don't want to start with a conversion factor when doing stoichiometry problems. You want to start with a given. So if you're given a few numbers and you don't know which one to start with, you always want to start with the one that has the simpler unit. This is just grams. This is grams per liter. More complicated. Go for whatever one is the simpler one. So that 8.1 grams is where we're going to want to start. So our little stoic flow chart tells us we have to get everything into moles. So we're going to take our grams of magnesium and get that into moles of magnesium using the molar mass on the periodic table. So if you take a peek on the periodic table and find magnesium, the molar mass is about 24.3 grams per mole. So I'll put that 24.3 on the bottom and one mole on the top. The next step in our four-step little flow chart there says once you're at moles of one chemical, we need to get to moles of the other chemical using our balanced equation to get us there. So if we're at magnesium right now and we're eventually trying to get to liters of hydrogen gas, we need the mole-to-mole -mole ratio from our balanced equation between magnesium and hydrogen. Well, it happens to be a one-to-one -one ratio. And even if it is a one-to-one -one ratio, you still need to show that in your work. So we would put the one mole's worth of magnesium on the bottom for one mole's worth of hydrogen on the top. Now we're at the third box of our four-box flow chart. Our next job is to get it into the amount, whatever it's asking you for, part particles, liters, grams. Well. This particular one's asking for liters, but it doesn't say anywhere in here that this guy is at STP. It doesn't have those magical three letters, but it does give us this conversion factor here of 0 0.073 grams per liter. So there's a, our liters link right there. Now, if we could get our thing from moles into grams, then we could get moles to grams to liters. And we can do that. So if we wanted to get our moles of H2 into grams of H2, one mole's worth of H2 would weigh two grams because the molar mass of hydrogen is one and we've got two of them H2. That gets us kind of there almost but we've got one more step to go because we're at grams and it wants liters and now we have a grams to liters link so we can take that 0 0.073 grams and put it on the bottom so that way our grams and grams will cancel out one liter on the top think of densities as one more conversion factor just like you would say that there are 12 inches per foot, there's 0 0.073 grams per liter. So you can flip that density however you need to to make the units cancel out appropriately. Well, now we're at our liters of hydrogen. Everything else cancels out. Grams of magnesium go away. So do the moles. Moles of hydrogen go away. So do the grams. And then that leads us with just liters of hydrogen. This problem looks like we get to keep two sig figs from both the 
the 2.0 and the 0 0.073. So if you type that through on your calculator, we would get to keep 9.1 liters of hydrogen.